Hi, I'm Hingers and welcome to Pocket. It's that time of the week where we dive into the mailbag and answer your questions. First, the news. Sony is shutting down PlayStation Mobile, its indie game platform for PlayStation Vita and until last year, certain Android devices. From July 15, Sony will no longer be delivering content via the platform, and from September 10 this year, users won't be able to download stored content from the service. Instructions for how users can manage the transition were published in a community post on the PlayStation Forum. State of Decay is full of sneaky little penises! The fine print phalluses were discovered by the game's developer Undead Labs as they were upgrading textures for the upcoming special edition release. The studio's senior designer, Jeffrey Card, said, Some of our contractors worked a ridiculous amount of genitalia into the background. The penises will not feature in the special edition release. <laughs> now, it's off to the studio we go! Okay, before we dip into mailbag proper, we need to talk about the apparent woolly mammoth in the room. Yes, I got a haircut. And the only reason I mention it is that some people weren't too happy about it at all. Zach Martin kicks it off with this. I don't like his hair. Yeah, sorry, hangers, but I must say, I'm not a fan of the new haircut. I really liked your previous one. What is wrong with your hair? Bad hair day or what? Seriously, you need to get that checked out. Thumbs up for Hing Dog's terrible haircut. And all these people had things to say. It just feels so good to be loved. And I guess it shows you guys care. Uh, love heart? Like that? The love heart? Does that work? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's get cracking on with the real stuff. This is from Alex Hodge. Hey Hingers, I would love to hear your opinion on all the new Steam goodies that Valve has just announced. Thanks Alex, Valve certainly did grab our attention with just how much they had to announce at this year's GDC. Let's start with their new engine, Source 2. The original Source launched in June 2004 with Counter-Strike Source and that small title Half-Life 2. So I think it's pretty safe to say, yeah, I'm pretty excited about what a more powerful Source engine will deliver. Half-Life 3, hopefully within my lifetime. That'd be nice. Then uh, there's the Steam Machines, Valve's take on the home console. Essentially putting a PC-like Steam experience into your lounge room, complete with a controller. It will be interesting to see what impact, if any, Steam Machines have on the current console market. I'm quietly confident about this one. They've also announced a Link device for in-home streaming. This will allow people to stream from their current PCs to their smart TV without a cable. Now with this one, I'm a bit more skeptical. Surely anything that can add latency to a system is not worth the risk. Plus, people around the Good Game office have had mixed experiences with Steam's current streaming beta, so it's a wait and see on that one from me. And finally, Valve's entry into the VR market, the Vive or Revive. That's some very confusing marketing there. Uh, anyway, at this point, I'm just sitting back and letting all the VR units battle it out. Oculus, Vive, Morpheus. I'm not too invested in any one device, so I'll just jump on board with the winner once the dust settles. Next up, we've got this one from Oliver Reed. Hi, good game. What are your thoughts on the latest Master Chief collection update? Thanks for that question, Oliver. For those who've been following along, you'll be well and truly aware of how disastrous the launch of Master Chief Collection has been. Month after month, patch after patch, the game has remained a buggy, unstable mess. Until now. The latest patch, released last week, is being reported as the most stable build to date, with the majority of the community's concerns being addressed. If it's any indication of their confidence, Microsoft has even gone so far as to announce an Xbox One Master Chief Collection bundle this week. So I guess that's a sign that things are looking up. <laughs> of course, we had to test this out firsthand, and we're happy to say that the experience is noticeably smoother than where we left it about two months ago. Matches are populating a lot faster, particularly in the uh, Team Slayer and Team Halo 2 anniversary playlists. Plus, we haven't had a single game with uneven teams. Parties also look like they're stable now, though we only got a chance to test this with one other player. Still, progress! <laughs> but is it too late? Has 343 Industries betrayed the trust of gamers just like 343 Guilty Spark betrayed the trust of Master Chief? Hmm? Has the player base given up and moved on? Will they come back now that things appear to be working better? Why am I asking questions when I'm meant to be the one answering them? I should move on. To this one from Sir Derpy Cow Derp. Hingers, who is your favourite Star Wars character? Assuming you love it like everyone else in the GG office. Mmm. 
This is a big question. Who is my favourite Star Wars character? Obviously, there's a lot to consider. There's the movies, the games, the comic books, the novels, the animated series. I mean, how far do we want to go into the extended universe? Well, look, it doesn't matter because my absolute favourite, favourite Star Wars character of all time, absolute classic, one of the best, is Geordi LaForge. Okay, that's it for today's ep. Keep those questions coming in. Until tomorrow, see ya! Wait, did that say Star Wars?